Uh, I've uh, quite a large order of taking the liberty of writing it down. Well, uh, I haven't actually got my reading glasses. Right. Uh, two pounds of uh, steam steak. <laughs> two pounds of mince. Uh, four chops. Three sirloin steaks. Anything else? Six slices of square sausages. <laughs> Exploring a few emotions, really you know, uh, envy, jealousy, suspicion, that, yeah. pain. Any volunteers? Mm. Yeah, me. You're gonna go. Right, I'll go. I'll go. Right, let me come. Let me come. <sighs> okay, and you are? Rebecca. Rebecca, and you are? I'm Ronald Villiers. Ronald Villiers, say hello. Hi. I've actually, I, think, I, mean, I don't think your name was Rebecca then. My mum moved to schools to her, uh, dancing teapot. Right. I was in the Sorry, Ronald. The spout. Uh, okay, Rebecca, now you're uh, married to Ronald and you've been having an affair. Oh. Now, Ronald, you come home early from work one right, day right. and something's bugging you. Right. She's been having an affair. She's been having an affair. Let's play it. Right. Right, so this is me coming in for my work. Right. Ding dong. <laughs> right, you. You dirty, clatty midden. <laughs> You've been having an affair. What? Where did you get that from? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, you, you've actually told me, because she's a... Did you not hear him saying that? Fair enough. But you can't refer to me because I'm not in this. I know, but you tell me she's an affair. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know if she's having an affair? It'll unfold. Right. Go in the script. No, there's, there's no script. This is an improvisation workshop. Right, so we're just making up. You just mm -hmm. making yeah, up. Mm -hmm. We're just right. making up. Right, two is making up. Right. Okay, let's play. Right. right, so I'm coming in the door again then. Right, okay. Right, right. you're a dirty clatty manky tart. <laughs> you're having an affair. What? Where did you get that from? I didn't get it from anywhere. <laughs> I made it up. Big man, big hairy man, he works in the jungle, cutting down trees all the time. Big back on him, big bony back. <laughs> Africa, Africa. It's for Africa. So stop that. That was Africa. absolutely fantastic, Ron. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. Well done. Okay, now we're going to move on a little bit uh, to try and have a look at the pain. Okay. Right. Now, Rebecca, you've confessed you are having an affair. Right, that guy. I said that. You should have said I. Mm. When I said that, you should just have said I keep doing that. Yes, whatever. Guy in the jungle. That's absolutely fine. Ronald, I want to see your hurt. I want to see your. You're gutted, you know. You just found out your wife's having an affair. What news? What news? You're crushed. Crushed. I'm crushed. I'm going to go back to the door. Right, right. Back to the door. <laughs> okay. Right. Ding dong. Right. You're having an affair. Yes, I am. Well, that's what news. I'm crushed. <laughs> I want to see that you're crushed. Right. Uh, um, crushed. Did you ever have a pet? I had a pet. Oh, I had a pet. A wee, a wee dog called Spot. Well, what happened to it? I died. Well, that's great. Hey? Well, I don't think it's great. I mean, it's terrible, but, but bring right. that pain to the workshop. Right, you want that in? Okay, let's play. Okay. Mm. Right. You are having an affair. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. The taxi just came round the corner and walked on his back. <laughs> Spot just lying there and all his guts went on the other people. And I was not ashamed of my sister. I said, Arnie, Arnie, you're walking around. The taxi just came round the corner. The taxi just came round the corner. It doesn't even stop. It doesn't even stop. Let's say for talking's sake, you wanted to go 10 pin bowling. With these vouchers, you would get 20% off on your second visit. And if you could persuade a friend to take these tokens, you could receive 30% off your third visit. 
and all these tokens are redeemable against the buy one get one burger free token. I, uh, I think I can smell shite. <laughs> yes, I can definitely smell shite. <laughs> and now it's time for Arts News. Interpreting for the Neds tonight, Rab McGlinchey. How you doing? Into his second night at the centre of the contemporary muse in St Andrews is controversial Melbourne performance artist Steinway Samhurst. He'll be exhibiting extracts from his seminal work, Band Arts. That's right, it's a big mad Aussie dude, man, right? He's half his jump, right? He's getting a day nice mad shuggling about and all that. I can't, I can't remember what the show's called, but Arse Bandit. I think that's it. <laughs> the most contentious sequence of the piece occurs when Samhurst confronts our assumptions and preoccupations with human wastage. It's a starkly graphic presentation, daringly wandering into the ether of our own transgressions. Aye, he's done a shite in a jar, man. <laughs> you kidding, man? A big Bruner right there on the stage. What a place was haunting, man. I think we're allowed to do that sort of thing, but some control by the big man, but didn't they strain or nothing? Must be on a special diet or something. Some people may find excerpts of Sam Hurst's performance disturbing, but the centre stands by the piece the cornerstone of a season where the entire venue will be run by a policy of no censorship. Well, it might not be your mug of pish, but I'll say one thing for the arty crowd. They like you skin up in the bar. <laughs> He's into a toot, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Good night. Right, Johnny, that's your dinner. Are you smoking? Teddy bear reminds me of our smile. Blink, blink. blink. <laughs> Here. In the slaughterhouse on the gala gate, they kill stuff every day. They bring them in in the lorry and they have their wicked way. Oh, cows and sheep and pigs and goats. They shoot them in the heat and they slit their throats. But you and me say, what the hell? Because hacked up animals taste just swell from the slaughterhouse. Moo, stick your flare in the abattoir. Bah, eat your flare in the abattoir. Oink, oink, in the slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. <laughs> Bill. 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 Oh my. Congratulations. You have already won £250,000. Please open for details on how to claim your win. <laughs> well, that's definitely shite. <laughs> Like a dog. Shut up, you! I'm picking the dog. No one a daft wee dog. <laughs> oh boy! What, 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 what? Big nasty character coming. A real rolled up newspaper oh. across the nose merchant. If ever I seen one. <laughs> what we gonna do? Oh, this is an emergency. Ah, get the shaving foam. Hey, what about these two? Aye, maybe. Mission accomplished. <laughs> now, offers for this property come in at over eighty thousand uh, pounds. Given that you're currently claiming income support, and your partner is earning minimum wage. It might be very, very difficult for you to maintain interest payments on a monthly basis. Does that mean we can't get a mortgage in? <laughs> oh! <laughs> the moment was so romantic. It was my best birthday ever. Well, I get in from my work about four o'clock and Derek was actually up at his bed. Of course he remembered. And before I could even get my coat off, he just whisked me right back out the door for a romantic meal at the Flaming Lancer. It was great. Derek had the lamb buna 
and the saffron rice, the garlic naan, chicken cha and mixed pakora. Oh, well, I just went up the road with a roll and chips. I can't kind of go that kind of curry stuff. But I suppose I could have had an omelette, but Derek said the smelly, it would just give me the boke, and he wasn't wanting me to have the boke on my birthday. He was he thinking about me. Do you know, he was that intent on celebrating my birthday that he stayed out partying till seven o'clock in the morning. There's no many men would go to that kind of trouble for their wives, eh? Uh, aye, aye, I got your card, thanks very much, it was lovely. And Derek set out all the cards on the mantelpiece for me as well, aye. Oh, and the £60 pound that was in it. Aye, aye, we got that as well. No. <laughs> Wanda. Oh, Wanda. Wanda. Oh, classic, George. Classic. Wanda. Bounce-ish. Please, somebody get us all bouncing. You up for a bounce? Huh. I might be up for a bounce, I don't know. You? No, I might be, I might not. <laughs> Need big hands to be a DJ, don't you? Big hands, all that slipping and sliding and mixed and scratching and everything. Getting the records out the sleeves, you need big hands, I think big hands are a turn on. Well, all right, you need to see. Don't know. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? No, that I'm fishing. Right, I'm fishing. There's no queue up for you at the end of the night. It's a big queue. I might queue. I might be right up at the front of the queue. You bothered? Would you be bothered? I'm not bothered. Might be bothered. Well, it depends on you. Be bothered. So you want to hear some bounce, yeah? Aye, some a bit bouncy. <laughs> you ready? Aye. You remember the script? Aye. OK, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to open for you, right? Just to make sure we get in the door. OK? You stay in the car. Mm-hmm. And I say? Eh, uh, and you say, Good afternoon, sir, or madam. Can I just say right off, I'm no selling anything. That's right. And then I say? Uh, and then you say, Can I ask you, have you heard of Ben Lux? That's right. What's next? Uh, they answer yes or no. Ah, you see, that's the beauty of it. Irrespective of whether they answered yes or no, we always reply, Ah, just what I expected. And then I say, you see, sir or madam, we at Ben Lux are trying to establish a brand name like Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Heinz Beans or Kleenex Tissues. And then my hands. Then you throw a coffin fit and ask for a glass of water. That's right, and then bang, we're in. You see, it's that yes, no question. It throws them off balance every time, you know. Psychology, OK? OK. Now, once I'm inside... You get the vacuum cleaner out of the boot. Once you're inside the house. And not before, because the last thing I want you to do is be standing over the vacuum cleaner while I'm still on the doorstep, you see? Psychology, OK? OK. All right, see you on the inside. What else, sweetheart? There's a man in the house, son. Bobby, maybe you see this. Okay. What? Before I start there, I'm actually not selling. No, I'm not interested. Beat it. Eh? Beat it. Right. And don't move over in the house in the street. Just beat it. I can't show it to me, mate. Give me your you
Get in here! 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 And the headlines again. The Archbishop of Canterbury promised that there would be new consideration over the contentious issue of women priests being ordained before the next sitting of the Senate. Get me a cone! <laughs> I'm in sport. I thought I told you to end it at a I know I didn't have much time. With me now, Jason Smith, winner of the 1,000 metres. Jason, fantastic run, let me tell you. Of course, you now have the gold medal, and to top it all, a brand new world record. Tell me, Jason, how do you feel? Uh... <laughs> Is that yours? Oh, absolutely, that says. Is that all you're wanting? Indeed, that is all we're wanting. Right, that's one chicken stopper, one single special fish, one haggis, one single black pudding, one half piece of supper, one rolling fritter, three pickles, two sachets of red sauce, and one bottle of tizer. Sixteen pound eighty. There you are, my delightful wee bockle. Keep the change. What about our suppers? Oh, hang the suppers. We're paying for the banter. <laughs> Captain, we have to change course. We're heading for the jab side of the hurricane. It's coming viciously from Cook's side. Oh, drat it, man. We must check the key fly. Get yourself up to the lookout post. <laughs> it's too late, Captain. The pish flaps have blown loose. Balls of that. Then we need to have all hands pumping. Tell the crew to mind the dildos and oil their snatches. What about you, sir? My place is here at the bell end. If she goes down, I go down. And believe me, she's not going down to me. Drink your stand until the bottom scrapes the winkle. Hi, hi, sir! <laughs> Sit ducks down here. Do you know what I did before us? Before this hell. The teacher. A beautiful house. Gorgeous wife. Madeline. Knew what? Stuck here waiting to die. Waiting in a bullet! Lads, lads, lads! Give me an 89. <laughs> Here's a big knife. Here now. What's what you're doing with that knife, Jack? Right, are you ready? I am ready. Get it open. Jeez, oh. It's like bloody Siberia on there, eh? Aye. It's not a knife you're needing to defrost that, Jack. It's a team of bloody huskies. <laughs> Aye. You see, I've not been in there since Jean died, you know. She kept all that organised in there. Aye. Well, let's get started. Aye. What have we got here? Yeah, right. that? Fish fingers. What's the sell by on them? September 1977. Oh, and that'll be rank. What else we got here? 
Oh, here now I know what that is. That's a tub of jean soup. Oh, I we can have that the night, eh? Aye, uh, no for me. That's no right. That's no right. Well, that gives me the willies. That's soup for the deed. <laughs> Don't you bloody start. That's having sent that soup. Right, what else is in there? I can't even see. I've got snow blindness. Right, well, come out of Stripe, Bennett. <laughs> Cauliflower. Now that gives me the trots, Bennett. <laughs> what the hell's this? What's that? Looks like whiting. Oh, it's not even wrapped up or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is it, Jack? Ginger. Now that's stupid. You know you're not supposed to keep glass bottles in your freezer. No, Victor. Freezer. Oh, jeez, old Jack, I'm sorry. 1983, the last time I saw him. I wonder where he got to. Oh, yeah. Do you not remember he went down the stairs and got torn into that old bitch? Accused her of lifting it. I'll have to go down and apologise. Ah, that's a load of pish. Anyway, she's due lally now. What are we going to do? I think if we're up a jumper then it should be all right. He's away, Jack. It's too late. Oh, what's the day? I'm putting a jumper in it. Jack, it's over. <laughs> to me. Oh, no. Give the cat to me, Jack. Ginger. Jack, no, now. Give me the no, cat no, now. Give me the on cat, go on. Come up in it. Is he fully under? Yes, Doctor. Blood pressure and heart rate stable. Okay, marker pen. Marker pen. With this, I designate the point of entry. The scar left after this operation should be no bigger than a thumbnail, uh, which will be just here on the brief line. And uh, I'm sure when the patient wakes up, he'll, uh, he'll be very glad of that. <laughs> <laughs> Scalpel. Scalpel. Does this patient's file show any history of penis enlargement treatment? No, Doctor. Right. Isn't that something, huh? Yeah. He, uh, he truly has been blessed. What a differ. <laughs> no, but seriously, have a look at it. It's fabulous. You know, in all my years of, of looking at men's organs, I've always managed to keep a professional distance until now. And uh, that... Uh, that baby is a textbook, 10 out of 10 perfect, look. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, do doctor, this, this isn't appropriate. Mm -hmm. No, I know it's not appropriate. I know it's improper, but uh, come on, is it just me? Look. <laughs> right, I'm getting the staff nurse. This is, this is all wrong. Yeah. yeah, go and get her. If she's any kind of woman at all, she'll be smitten as well. <laughs> I'm touching her, I don't care. No, let me. No, no, no. Oh, that's your lasagna al forno in the oven now. You want a can? Aye, I'll be done in a minute. <laughs> that sunbed's a belt on man. <laughs> Keep the rollers, mate. Uh, you can hold on to the ladders as well. <laughs> Aye, she's absolutely beautiful. Aye, totally up for shagging, you know. Shagging all night? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> shite. Oh, yes. That's shite. Look at these two Muppets. <laughs> Who can I get these? Two pints. Two pints. Two pints. Two pints. Two pints. <laughs> Look at the barmaid. 
She's gorgeous. I'd like to give her one. I'd like to give her one, too. One, one two, two, one, two, two one, two. two. Uh. Look at the toilet. One, two, two three men go in the, the toilet. toilet. Speaking of toilets, how many peas can you see? Puggy? Piss head. I can see three peas. Puggy, piss head, puke. Look at the toilet. How many men come out? Three went in. But only two came out. Three minus two. Three minus two equals one, one druggy. <laughs> ah, powder. Powder. Marching powder. One, two, one, two. March, 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 march. <sighs> He's staying watching us, you couple of Muppets. We're counting you. Hey, I see two more peas. One prick. <laughs> two pricks. Two, two pricks. pricks. One baseball bat. Two baseball bats. Pulverize. Sergei Konechkin, when did you truly feel that you'd made the breakthrough? For what did you feel that you'd made the breakthrough? Stravitsi di Polomentov della Dravda e Shvili Nien su Pekriekin Bershvienti. Sergei says the uh, breakthrough came when he stopped considering atom as just protons and electrons and uh, started thinking of them as a projectable unit. Fascinating. You must have been delighted to win the Nobel Prize. Vrosti says, what you got to do? Is the Nobel? Here, Tony. You got anything to stall this paint with? Nah. We're going to get us something, man. It's solid. to love, honour and cherish to the exclusion of all others. I do. 